I just wonder how important it is to lock in what you want and what you're looking for in, in a relationship before you start exploring that realm. Because I feel like right now, although I want something with someone, I don't exactly know what I want and you seem to have it so figured out that, yeah, I just wonder what you think about that and like how necessary it is to have that worked out first. Not knowing what you're looking for and saying, I'll know it when I find it is called confusion. So since the love attracts, you're going to attract a confused person. And then in that confused relationship, you're then going to realize, oh, this is what I don't like. And that's where fighting and arguing starts to take place. So when you define who you are in your dating book, this is the dating book for men. This is the dating book for women. Or if you're not heterosexual, this is the dating book that has more storytelling. And this is the dating book that is more concise. You just give mm-hmm. me a little bit but the logic still applies Mm. you're going to do homework so you're going to define yourself so this is me this is my list when i define myself i know what i deserve therefore i know what to look out for if he's missing any of these it's an elimination not my selection also 12 character traits because i quantify somebody who's making the right decisions if they're not a 12 out of 12 what they're missing is going to be problematic so you want to pick a 12 out of 12 who matches your energy instead of picking a problem that's very interesting i i I feel like starting off with a list about yourself is important but as a young man you know you're getting to know yourself and i think you you start to get to know yourself in a relationship very well i think it brings out more and more about sorry go ahead look at this list i do see are you not able to know that about yourself without being in a relationship no you know what you're right i think i might be using that a bit of as a bit of a crutch to say like you know i i don't know myself until i've experienced certain things and find out how i react that list is is more so like adjectives that you can actually describe yourself with rather than I think I'm, I think I'm probably putting too much on it. You know what I mean? So Um, listen, when you look in the mirror and you say, who am I? You're able to come up with your list. The other thing that you might be confused about that you do need to think about is, do I want to get married? Do I want to have children? Do I want to own property? Those are bigger, deeper questions that sometimes you have to weigh. So weigh that, ask yourself, what do I want? And take the time to figure that out. When you say body count doesn't matter, how come that message is so important to you to get out to people? And also, why do you feel like it doesn't matter? Or is it, I just want to know that as well. I'll answer the second part first. It doesn't matter because who I did is not who I am. I want to get this message out to people because there are guys, selfish short-term figures that are toxic and controlling, trying to use the body count question as a measure of control. Can I control you in the past? Did you follow my rules? Because if you let me control you, then you're controllable. And I'm a controlling person looking for someone to control. Just saying. And we don't want controlling. I don't, maybe you do, but controlling is not on my list. So if controlling isn't on your list, then you need to eliminate the people who are controlling. And this is an indication of their controlling mindset. So in the past, you know, I've been insecure about someone's body count. I'm going to be honest. It, it's happened. So it's happened. Miserable for 10 years because of my insecurity. And I don't, I, I would like to work past and, and get over that. I, I wonder how you did it. Cause I, you know, when I'm dating someone new, I don't want to have it be a big deal. How many people they've slept with. It, it really doesn't matter. You're with me now. It's a totally different scenario. We're not thinking about the past, but and, and your past made you who you are. And that's why I'm interested in you now. Listen, the guys I did helped me understand <clears throat> the body type I liked, but they didn't make me who I am. The guys I did helped me understand the kinks that I like or the kinks that I, I was curious about, but I'm okay with that now. But they didn't make me. They helped no. me understand my sexuality, but they didn't make me. And that's what right. we're eliminating is this concept that a pee-pee makes a woman. How do you get over it? You pick the person who is loyal. Body count doesn't mean they're disloyal. So you pick the person who is loyal, respectful, honest, trustworthy. And when you feel insecure, you go, wait a second, who did I choose? And you ground yourself in the facts. My husband was seeing me in a strip club for over two years. When I was busy and he was waiting for me and other girls came and said, hey, yeah, you like me, you want to go for a dance? He said, no, I'm waiting for somebody. He was so 
loyal he only picked me that's his personality is loyalty so in order to overcome your insecurity you have to pick the right person you have to pick the loyal honest respectful trustworthy person and when you feel insecure ground yourself in reality and say wait a second this isn't based on them and their behaviors this is my imagination i'm thinking about who they did but who they did isn't who they're doing so they're in the present I should be in the present with them instead of in the past, imagining who they did and feeling insecure. So let me ground myself in the present. I'm going to go do some meditation. I'm going to go write a list of all the ways they show me they love me and care about me because I'm forgetting that right now because I'm wrapped up in my imagination. And the next time I feel insecure, I'm going to go back to my list and remind myself of what I'm forgetting and back to meditation and ease my anxiety. And when I see my partner, I give them a hug and a kiss instead of insecure toxicity. I really need to work on that and I need the tools to, to start grounding myself more because I'm going to need to get myself a copy and keep that because I realize I, I, I'm i not trying to let my insecurities affect me. You're, you're not trying to, obviously, you're trying to keep yourself grounded, but you're afraid of getting hurt and you're afraid of, I, well, I think this is me. I'm not saying you like other people. It's me. I'm afraid of getting hurt. I'm afraid of allowing myself to get hurt down the line. So when I see something that could be behavior that's like, Oh, if you do this, then you have the potential to do this. So I don't even want, I don't even want to deal with that. And I think, you know, you, you, when you're dating someone, you start thinking they're trustworthy, but you never know until you really get to know them. No, no, Go ahead. no, no, no. You don't make any assumptions. That's why it's no kissing for three months. No kissing, no sex, no sleepovers, no exclusivity. Observation before selection. That's the thing. Yeah, you kind of if you jump into it too fast, then you're opening yourself up to hurt without knowing what situation you're in. That's what it is. Exactly. We make. Oh my gosh. I don't assume you're honest, respectful, loyal, or trusted, or patient, or have impulse control. I don't assume anything. Thing. I'm going to observe and see who you are. And if I see all of these consistently over three months, it kind of eases my mind, doesn't it? But I'm looking for the red flags. I'm not clouding my judgment with kisses and sexuality. I'm looking for the red flags. And if I see this in the beginning, but then it falls apart, that's the data I needed to know. I get rid of them. I don't pick somebody who starts to show me that they're not honest or trustworthy. I don't pick them. I get rid of them. Wow. This is so valuable. I, I appreciate the work that you're doing. This is like really awesome. I, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me and just I, really, I'm going to get your book. I have to. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. I appreciate your time. Okay. I love right. when people come back and check in and tell me how they're doing. So keep me posted, okay? I will. Thank you so much. Get your paper box from Amazon.